Look to for God's sake, you got to be more power to the people. For God's sake, why don't you give more power to the people? Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. How y'all doing? It is hot as hell here in the Midwest. And, um, but I thought I'd come off my vacation and give y'all a video. Um, and, um, hopefully, hopefully, this is just cause y'all to think just a little bit, you know, because y'all don't like to do a lot of thinking. I know. So, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, I'd like to welcome you to this place I call the Crazy House. And in this crazy house, we talk about things that are so damn crazy, but are have been gaslit, and we've been gaslit, right, to believe the shit is real or it's true. Okay? That's why I'm here. Um... This particular subject we're talking about right now is, I don't know, how many of y'all have ever, ever worked a poll? Um, I'm talking about a voting poll. How many of y'all ever worked? How many of y'all have been election workers, election inspectors, um, aides, well, lookout people? If you have, you know how hectic and how uh, ener energetically charged that atmosphere is around election time. In fact, it's quite addictive. Okay? Now, for those of y'all who think that this is a job that is to be taken lightly and, you know, there's... Look, on election day... The poll workers are the most important people in the United States. They should be the most protected. And they were, up until Donald Trump's ass, they were the most protected. So what I mean by that is because, you know, Donald Trump is an agent of chaos and because most people don't know enough to, to even realize how far society has been dumbing down, don't even take civics in school in the last 20 years and yet got the nerve to be sitting up here talking about, I'll vote for Trump. That's why you said it. Because you, you most a lot of y'all is just stupid. Anyway, I'm coming out with my both guns barreling because Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss was done so messed up. And I feel for them because I it, that could have been me. Okay? I, I've been in their position. Okay? And so for somebody to take that shit lightly or act as if it don't mean anything, shame on you. Shame on you. Y'all are just insane. And as far as black people concerned, we really will cut off our nose and spite our face. And we just want some attention. So now you got all these black people talking about, oh, I'm just going to vote for Trump. I'm just, why are you so damn in love with a freaking political party? A Democrat or Republican? They're going to show you how damn stupid the whole thing is. Why are you so in love and married to a damn party and ain't neither one of them showed us no grace. But I will say, the Democratic, more things have been uh, passed probably under them that will benefit, beneficial to black people and the country as a whole than um, Republicans. Maybe that wasn't always the case, but that's the way it was. That's been the case since about 40 years. So that's in our now. What Shay, What happened to Ruby Freeman and Shay Moss was criminal. To work the poll, to go home and know that they had they exhausting that day was, and then they have people 
knocking on your door, talking about they there for Trump, and you you have done a violation to the votes, and you at home, and these people know your name, you've been doxxed for for Donald Trump. Rudy Giuliani and his corrupt shoe polished face ass allowed this madness to take place because they don't give a damn about you black people. It just showed you how they treated Ruby and Shay. That that should just be right there. That's that's the latest uh caper that they pull. Use you like a fool. And then you really think a oh, oh, conservatives for Trump and all that. Y'all, I'm going to say one thing and then I'm going to let it go. Donald Trump's, I mean, um, Willie Lynch says something so powerful and it always comes back to my head. If you implement these components on these deaf, dumb, and blind slaves, I guarantee you, you will make them miserable and perpetual miserable, not only for a day or for a year. Hundreds of years, maybe even thousands, or their whole existence, they'll be like ships in the sea without a sail, without a rudder, without a paddle, without... They don't know what to think because their mind is so crazy and they have such been addicted to pain that they love to be abused. They love it. You see the black women love to be abused by black men. You see black men who love to be abused by black women because they need a place to stay or whatever. And now, we ain't been but a few years learning how to read, and we got the audacity to think we intelligent enough to vote our best interest. Well, we anytime you still thinking Democrat, Republican, and you can't think no further outside that, and you can't vote your best interest, and you can't see, listen, those who don't remember the past, are condemned to repeat it. I hope Donald Trump never gets nowhere near an office. He kicked up anxiety for the whole country, except for y'all, who probably already retarded anyway. Like that charge and that insanity around you. His own kids didn't want to be around that. Then y'all, so silly, you talking about uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden ain't never ran for president. And I don't give a damn what kind of money he got while his father was president. It ain't like the money that uh, Kushner got from them Saudis. Billions of dollars. Y'all ain't talking about that. Uh, listen. People, my people, go sit down somewhere. Because you don't know enough. You don't know enough. And if you think it's okay what they did to Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman, it's just indicative and in, or indicative of how sick you are. And I guess you would vote for a sick candidate. I'll see you in the next video. And hey, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share my channel. I'll see you in the next one.